biofuels promoted as a green alternative to conventional fuels like petrol and diesel and made from food grains like corn. But now there is a debate. Does the biofuel boom mean bust for food grains? The energy crisis has forced the world to look for alternatives and the spotlight has fallen on the food market. If corn can produce edible oil, then why can't it produce oil to drive a car? It can and it is. The European Union has said at least 5% of oil used in automobiles must be biofuel by 2010. But that directive is now being looked at again as a global food crisis looms. Here in Europe, some are calling it the great green fuel gamble. Sweden already has 1,000 biofuel stations and incentives for green car users. But most other European countries are cutting down on generous subsidies for biofuel farming over rising concerns that biofuels may not be as sustainable or even as green as earlier imagined, especially if they come at the cost of agricultural land being swallowed up by profitable biofuel crops. So how big is the risk? Take the example of maize. Globally, maize production went up by 40 million tons last year. Of this, 30 million tons were used to produce ethanol. The result? Global maize prices almost doubled. But diversion of food grains for biofuels is just one part of the trade-off. The other is farmland. Even when biofuel is extracted from non-food plants like Jatropha, commercial cultivation could mean loss of fertile food grain land. As India readies its biofuel policy, it has some food for thought. As the World Bank report puts it, the maize needed to produce enough ethanol to fill up an SUV tank can feed a man for a year. With Supriya Sharma, Tisha Shavasta for NDTV.